Hi everyone, welcome to the next video. Doing something a little bit different today. Uh, we are at a local lake here. We've set up our little gazebo and swag and we're going to uh, camp in the rain tonight. So, never really done that before, unless accidental. <laughs> but we're going to give it a go tonight just to test out the new or the setup, see if it works for us and see if we can make any improvements before we go on any uh, multiple day uh, adventures. So this is it. Uh, I'll give you a bit of a look at the setup um, once I've had my cup of coffee, and we'll um, yeah we'll show you around. There it is. Here's the swag. Very simple, but that should do us tonight. So I've only been here a couple of hours and I've learned something already and that is to buy another side for the gazebo. So when you buy it new they come with two sides but the way I've set it up uh, actually one of the sides that I've left open the rain's coming straight in and the wind just happens to be that side so I'm definitely going to have to get another side but I've got a tarp hole in here which I've rigged up as I'll show you. These are the standard sides that they come with, two of those. You can buy them separately as well. I had a tarpaulin in the, in the truck, so I just rigged that up for the time being. Hopefully it'll last overnight. Then it just means I've got an area here where it's sort of semi-sheltered. You can cook some dinner. And yeah, we won't get blown away and rained away, so hopefully it'll work things you learn. Right now it's time we're gonna it's about half past four I think it is. Yeah, 4 30 on the dot. Uh, we've got pork chops tonight and salad and some eggs a few other bits and pieces so we're gonna start cooking and have some have some dinner before it gets too dark and miserable. <laughs> right bud? Yeah. <laughs> With some um, wadobo spice on me. Yes. Yeah. Stuff. Yes. Oh. Oh, careful. Give a smell. 
Some lollies on the pants. <laughs> <laughs> some lollies on the urethane? <laughs> no. Nah. Why is it doing that? Yeah. Well, it's a rain, that's why. And it's starting to rain. That's alright. That's a nice boot. Nothing like a bit of pork chops. What the coffee? Oh, this one. Do you like me? Can you go and open the boot and put the stones for me? Product there, pork chops. Cohen is pork chop and uh, some eggs, scrambled eggs. Mm -hmm. Obviously a bit hungry. Good? Yeah. That's good. If I've got a salad somewhere, so I better eat oh, that yeah. as well. Right, Very rainy. Be. The rain seems to be coming through the gap there in the tarp, so it's a bit annoying, but at least it gives us a bit of shelter. Really good. Excuse the fingers. I don't know whether you can see there, it's absolutely blowing a gale. And the weather has just turned. The rain is just insane. I'm glad I put this tarp up because. It's holding out about 90% of it, it's just coming through the gap there, but goodness me, it's um, certainly wet and wild. The ducks love it. And the toilet absolutely just... I can't even walk in there, it is that bad. It is so bad, just... It's just a long drop and it stinks like the wind really my goodness. Ooh, it's gonna be an interesting night. <laughs>
should be a spare battery. The camera will out. Hopefully we get a good sleep and it's not too rough. Please. <laughs> That's where our feet are down that side anyway. I hope it won't be too bad. Sorry, it's better. Got the essentials here gun boots and drink. Um, got the other gear in there for the night, I believe. So it's only about 20 to 6 or something in the evening. Um, but literally nothing we can do. Maybe next time we'll just bring an actual proper tent. Um, yeah, lessons learned, that's for sure. Hmm. Oh well. You probably can't see it, but the rain is almost horizontal. It is coming down there. Radio, it's 6.34 p.m. We've had dinner. Uh, we did start playing a few a few board games in the swag, but it was a little bit... Um, squishy. Yeah, a little bit squishy. So we decided to um, come to the car and... Um, useful. Yeah, <laughs> and set up the game. Um, and then tonight, when we're ready for bed, we'll then retreat to the... Uh, back to the swag again. Um, yeah, so we have a few few games and and then uh, head off when it starts to get a bit dark later on. Yeah, getting the uh, getting the Pokemon game sorted, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Here we Pokemon. go. Pokemon. Oh. Dance party on there. Have a dance party. Yep. We've just had the uh, the uh, the dock warden come around and collect payment. Uh, and I've, I've, I've just paid online, probably the easiest way. Um, yeah, it's a surprising amount of people here though, with the weather the way it is. Hope, oh man, it's going to be an interesting night, that's for sure. Anyway, time to get our Pokemon on. Ready to start? Oh, not, not yet. Oh, sorry, okay. <sighs> right, alright, we'll, um... If it's a interesting night and it starts to get really, um, really rainy, we might uh, we might um, flip oh. the video back on. But um, otherwise, we'll see you in the morning. Yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed for a good sleep. Hey. The rain stops. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I need oh, to check the rain radar just to see, see what that. So, looks what like. did you want to be going back? So this is the rain radar, as you can see. Quite a bit of rain coming over the, the country there. And we're right oh where are we? Right there in the middle. It's not, oh, there it goes. Yep. Heaps of rain. Gonna be a good night. Hey! Uh, not a good night! <laughs> Cohen's been wasting me. You've been thrashing me. Yeah, so. Absolutely wasted me, and it's still Pouring. still raining outside. It's been like five hours raining. 
Yep. Been ready for a while. And it's, what's the time now? 20 past seven. Okay. We might pack up the game and head off to bed early, I think. Hey, okay. you wanna do that? It's already been past my bedtime. Yeah, it's already past Cohen's bedtime. Um, Give me some lollies for pudding. Lollies for pudding. You already smoked that whole bag nearly. Far out. Yeah. Alright, we'll pick up and the I'm game. And I'm not even sick. Yeah. Um, and I think we'll head back into the tent and um, might just read a book for a little while and then head off to bed, I think. Everyone's yawning, including me. <laughs> Alright. And me. I just, that was just See you in the morning. Great. Good morning everybody. Man, that was a bit of a rough night, wasn't it, Colin? Yep. Don't know whether you can hear it, still blowing a gale out there. Rainy airs, windy airs. It's about quarter to six in the morning. And um, it hasn't really lit up all night. It's, oh man, it's even the swags. Even the swags moving under it, under the gazebo. Holy moly. <laughs> <laughs> and we're fogging up in here, sorry. Um, so we're gonna... I think we might just get into our wet weather gear, pack up, and then head somewhere else for breakfast, because it's it's not very fun being in this. This is it. <laughs> Alright. We'll hopefully see you soon when we're having some breakfast somewhere else. But, um, gonna pack it up, get our wet weather gear on first. So that might take a little while. Anyway, we'll see you soon. Not bad. Yeah. Do you want to pass me something? Um, that, yep, and maybe you, um, my bag too. Sleeping bags? Yeah, this is the last one. And the water bottle? Yeah. Oh, you can, is that everything? Do you want to have a quick another look around just in case? Oh, yes, this is nice.
Okay, Shane, get back in the seat. Okay. Siren, so there's something going on, it must be flooding or something happening. That gives you an idea of um, <laughs> what we slept through last night. Yeah. <laughs> Probably can't see me because of the, the light, but we're going to pick up the swag now, so I'll put the camera down and then we'll find somewhere for breakfast. Tell you what, I'm quite impressed with the gazebo that I've got. Uh, I'll show you it just, uh, soon. Kiwi camping, Savannah Four Easy Up is what it is. I actually stayed up during the night, which was I was yeah I was, I was half expecting to like get woken up in the night and having to chase a gazebo down the down the foreshore, but actually actually stayed up. It's rocking and rolling for sure, but. Um, stayed up and doesn't look like anything's broken or anything, so that's good. Again, it's still pretty average. Have a look. Wind's coming straight off the lake. And the rain as well. It looks actually nice to have a um coffee and a bit of breakfast under. A bit of a shelter here. Oh, no, that's all. Oh well, I think we might head off and get a bit of something on the way home, something to eat and a coffee. It's not very fun, or well, well, not very fun for the young fella at least, um, having breakfast in this sort of weather. So we'll might stop and get some food on the way home. Anyway, thanks for joining us on this wet and wild adventure and uh, we'll do some more in the future. Maybe just not this crazy weather, uh, especially with civil defence sirens going and all sorts. So we'll see you on the next one. Make sure you like and subscribe and leave us a comment if you want to. Have a good week. See ya. Little side note, just a little travelling hack. If you're stuck for spots to uh, to, to have a bit of breakfast and stuff in the shelter um, we've stopped under a self-serve uh, fueling station and that seems to do the trick at least it's nice and dry we can make our brekkie really quickly and uh, sit back in the car so sweet <laughs> Oh.